Welcome back to Retro Wednesday at the Tidarium Hangar. Today I'm going to talk to you about my long lost G.I. Joes. For those of you who followed my channel for a few years, I sold off basically the bulk of my G.I. Joe collection for a couple grand a couple years ago, but I kept my favorites, and the only reason I really wasn't too upset about it was because I have this, and we're going to talk about this coming up. So this is the ultimate end game. I'm going to take them all out, set them all up, and talk about each one a little bit as we go. And these are all from my childhood figures. Uh, some of them are pretty worn, some in good shape, some missing weapons. But we're going to talk about that. Okay, I want to explain to you what this thing is. About 30 years ago, I was 11, maybe 12, I decided to keep all of my favorite Joes in some sort of organization. And so I went to walmart and bought myself kind of a tool organization shelf kind of thing and with that here's this thing now i put labels on it and it was going to be like one figure for drawer and then i realized i liked a lot of figures but these are my favorites we're going to go through them one by one and i'm going to pull them out and show you and i, I wrote the names are kind of uh I, I, they moved around a little bit some of them are where they belong I may not remember the names, so forgive me, because it's been a long time since I've really messed with Joe. And let's get right into it. So the first one, the first drawer had this Tiger Force figure, and I have a Sergeant Slaughter. Now, I guess I don't have the accessories for them, so uh, that is what it is. And some of the bands are broken, so I'm just going to kind of put them together and stack them up. Next up, we have a Beachhead and a version one Snake Eyes. Uh, straight arm, I guess. And and here's the thing. I actually hated that snake eyes back in the day because uh, what you'll see in the next drawer are my favorite snake eyes, and they're coming up. But uh, I didn't like that one. I thought it just didn't have the articulation. Nowadays, I think people like that one the most, or they're sought after. Next up, we have some snake eyes version two and three. Now these are the ones I actually like the most. Uh, the the version two the most. Version three I thought was cool, but. Uh, I think it kind of went too far for me, but I, I'll probably have the wrong weapons with some of them. I apologize if that's the case. So next up we have some Dreadnoughts here, and let's look at my drawer here. Buzzer, Ripper, uh, I think one of them's a Monkey Wrench or something like that, and Torch, I guess. I gotta check the names on it all, but uh, there, there's some accessories. So with these, I actually got these secondhand at garage sales and stuff because I was just too young to get them in the store when they were when they were out, and so uh, I think I was playing with He-Man or something. But anyway, uh, I was so ecstatic to find somebody that actually had weapons and stuff with them uh, back in the day. So next up, I got Footloose. I'm gonna move some of them around because I have the broken rubber, uh, rubber bands on them. But uh, this is Hawk, and so that's Flint. So I, I guess I got that wrong. So Flint, Hawk, and uh, and there's Footloose. Next we got my childhood snow job and then we have the Baroness and snow job is super yellow probably could use some time out in some peroxide in the sun that might be helpful. Next up I got a couple of Cobra officers to work into the mix and with that were whatever they are just the the, the guys on on the lines there but uh, so I got the one with the red of course his falling apart I, I got to change over. Bands. I'm, I'm scared to change rubber bands in these because I broke a couple once and I just don't want to mess with doing that again But it is what it is. I guess got to pay to play Next up. I got a bazooka the thing about my collection here of these these are not going to be mint condition All of them some of them will but not all of them simply because I played with them But bazooka is an example of been super played with for sure Next up I got Tomax and Zaymont the twins Brother, you feel hungry? Well, yes, we do. I, I thought that was always kind of strange, but it seemed like they had a bit of style to them and charisma. And it, it's one of those things that, as a young guy playing with these figures, I always felt like they were people that could have been good people, but got involved with the wrong crowd and turned bad. That was always my feeling. But anyway, you can't deny that they do look cool. Next up, a couple of female girls thrown in the mix. Here's some female Joes. 
and we got CoverGirl Scarlet, and I do have Lady J right here, uh, but she's not, I can't stand her up because she needs some work, but uh, really it was fun to have these back in the day. I remember having a lot of fun with these figures and uh, just having the, the girls in there, they were so hard to find. And uh, I again, I found these at garage sales or my friend's brother that was tired of them traded me for some Star Wars. They were hard to get back then, and uh, pretty hard to get now. This is getting hard to balance these guys, but a, bro a Firefly that needs some work, and another Broken Arm. Broken Arm uh, Hawk? Is it Hawk? No, that's not Hawk. Uh, anyway, he's the the kid that uh, Duke's little brother in the movie, right? Next up, we got a Dusty Haze, and I know I have his weapons somewhere. I can't believe I can't find them, but uh, yeah, that guy, that kid... It was a fun toy when I was a kid, and I really thought it was cool how he had like a cloth uh, for it with his helmet and all that. That was just something different. Next up, a uh, barbecue and blowtorch, and those were a lot of fun. I really would like to have all the accessories, I guess, but uh, it's still fun to have one from my childhood. Man, I think I played with those in the sandbox too much. I think there's still sand in one of them. <laughs> okay, so we got Doc. A uh, quick kick and a couple of Rakondos over here and uh, you're having trouble getting them to stand. I guess I need to get some stands for them or something. But the cool thing now we can start seeing that I've got the side-by-sides of both different versions. you got the original and then the Tiger Force. And I want to talk about Tiger Force real quick. I liked the show, the series, the Tiger Force show. I did not like the figures because I wanted to get the originals in a lot of cases and ended up getting Tiger Force and was disappointed. Uh, hence my ability to keep a lot of Tiger Force figures on the card, like, you know, the guy right back, back here, the Python Patrol. But yeah, I, it was a fun show, but I really would have just liked them to, you know, put out the original figures again. Okay, so next up we're going to talk about Dr. Mindbender, and then we got this uh, driver here, Cobra Driver. Uh, they were in the next drawer. Dr. Mindbender, when I got him, Got him brand new. That is a one that I got brand new. And I took pretty good care of him. He's still pretty stiff. I think he looks cool. He was just kind of different. Like he had that cape. Kind of reminded you of like a Star Wars Darth Vader cape. But in the end it was more cloth. So it wasn't quite that. It was like a like a stepped up version. I, I really thought it was a cool figure. And I didn't really care much about the character himself. I just thought the figure looked cool. Alright, so I accelerated this process by setting the rest of them up and uh, in front of the row in the back so anyway we have Zorana Zorana Zartan's sister and Zartan and I always thought Zartan was cool I just I thought when they added sister I was like yeah that's that's interesting but it just didn't have the same feel as the original Dreadnoughts like they, maybe it was the hyper pink and all that stuff and I don't have every weapon for all of these figures I have quite a few but I, I one of the things that got me to thinking about even setting this thing up this time capsule of mine is, is is things like this I knew I'd lose that face and it's just really cool to have it so uh, that's one of the weird things it was like something like this I don't ever want to lose and so that's kind of why I set this all up But let's move into the other ones here so next to him we have the Viper and I actually have a bunch of guns still in there and I'm not sure which one goes to which so I'm just not going to set those up with these guys but I think the Viper is cool at the end I'm going to kind of show you something about the Viper and the Baroness uh, there's just going to be examples of something that uh, I, I like but moving next we have the his tank driver and I have a his tank in there so I could put the driver in there so it'd be kind of cool uh, probably should do that but I'm going to put all these back in my little drawer system then I have a my childhood Serpentor now I know as a kid I had everything with him I don't know why I didn't put his cape and his everything his knife and his snake and all that in there i don't know i don't know why it's not in there but i do have destro and his gold head is turning silver which is crazy but he has this gold sword and i thought that was a big uh waste of a sword because you have like the the sheath and a chain and everything it didn't feel like it was a real sword it was like you had to either use the use it sheathed or else. I mean, they could have made that so much cooler. Anyway, I still think it's a cool deal. Next on the list, we have 
Hooded Cobra Commander and uh, Major Blood. The reason I have those two, they're, they're in the same little drawer, sliding drawer, and in my little 11 or 12 year old mind, or 10 year old mind, I don't know how, I I was like, they're both Mellowaze, and it was so exciting after waiting eight weeks, which maybe it was only a month, but it felt like a year to a kid to get these Mellowaze in. Uh, those are my first Mellowaze that I ever got, That, or, or maybe that's all I ever got in Mellowaze. But it was so exciting to get those, and those are in pristine condition. I, I just, it felt like so, it was extra special because it was a Melloway. And the Hooded Cobra Commander, and you know, you never could get them in the store, so that was a big deal. So yeah, I really liked it. Now, we're getting into my favorite Joes section, and there's really no reason why these are my favorite Joes. But Roadblock, uh, I've got two different versions. I have another version in there, but it's not from my childhood. Uh, he's driving an AWE striker. But the thing about these are, uh, I played the heck out of them because he, it was just tough. It was like he was so tough. It was strong, uh, almost a strong uh, quiet type. And I, I kind of like the talking and rhymes. But he was one of my favorites. I mean, I played with him like crazy. And I think this is something that where my brother and I both had both of those figures because we liked them so much. Uh, that we couldn't like split up the playtime. We had to have our own. <laughs> it was weird. But here's uh, we always called him Marine, but it's gung ho. And for whatever reason, my brother and I always just call him Marine. And that was another one. Uh, the funny thing is, though, uh, uh, the figures themselves weren't much bulkier than everyone else. But in the show, it seemed like they were much bulkier than everyone else. But still, really cool. A lot of fun. Uh, those are my two favorites of the Joes. And we talk about favorites. Of course, favorites are uh, everything here are my, my favorite, my closest 57 favorite figures uh, from my childhood still here. We've got Duke and the other Duke with the Tiger Force. And I have to admit that I did not have a Duke for the longest time. And I got the Tiger Force one before him. And he was one of those garage cell finds. And you... You get them, and you're just like so excited you get them. And then this is my friend up the street. I traded some Star Wars to him. Uh, I would have never picked these guys up, these older ones, these older Joes. Uh, I know he has a swivel arm, he's not a straight arm, but I would have never picked him up if it wasn't for my friend that lived up the street. So that was kind of cool. Now for the ones that uh, the, the rubber bands are messed up, and some of them just I couldn't hold together. I talked about some of these already, but we're going to talk about so Shipwreck. Now, I don't know why... I had to rebuild my shipwreck, and here's the weird part. My brother had shipwrecks, it was his shipwreck, so I got one along the way, I guess, and had to rebuild it out of some parts. So, But I did have a shipwreck, and there he is, and um, I just don't remember the waste piece, but whatever. Uh, moving on over, uh, we've got Mutt and Junkyard. Now, I always thought this was a really fun figure, and uh, I... I, I, I didn't realize how much I'd like having the dog as part of it. So that's really awesome. It, he was a lot of fun. And then we have, I think it's Lifeline. I might be wrong on that. So you, again, I'm not super uh, up on my Joe, but I probably will be soon because I'll probably be thinking, of what, what figures do I want them to make in the six inch line? Uh, and do I want the classics? But he has a little briefcase. I don't know if anything goes in there or not, but uh, that that's pretty cool. That's a, I always had fun with that figure too. And, you know, I, 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 I like Doc more, though. I don't know why. It's weird. So here we go. We have Spirit. And I remember uh, Spirit, I felt like uh, he was kind of boring as a character. But I, I thought he was, like, one of the coolest, though, because he took on Storm Shadow, which was my favorite uh, Snake Eyes, not Snake Eyes, uh, Cobra guy. And so for him, as you can tell, this dude's been played with, like, crazy but, uh, of course, you know, the eagle is, is cool. I, ha I took good care of that one, definitely. Alpine over here, a lot of fun. Uh, I don't know if I have all his parts, but I, always, I remember thinking, this dude is just hard to get all his parts and pieces uh, when I was a kid. And, uh, so I, that's why I saved him, uh, because it was just like so hard to track him down as a kid. Imagine a kid with no eBay and no Facebook and trying to track down parts for this stuff. I mean, that's... Garage cell after garage cell, it's like digging and digging, but, uh, and then I, I forget what this guy's name is, but here we have, and I think I might have already talked about a Firefly, and I have a baggie of parts, I might have everything for him in it, 
and uh, we talked about these two. So we're gonna go back over to here. My hovercraft pilot, uh, hovercraft was my favorite vehicle. I thought that the hovercraft was uh, so much fun and it did float and all of that. And so this guy spent a lot of time outside, so you can tell. Here we are with uh, Destro. My Destro's in really good shape, really tight, but his rubber band broke. So, uh, but Destro was a lot of fun and I really liked this character. The vac metalized head, uh, that was just something that just blew my mind. How someone can have a vac metalized head. I'm like, how does he talk if his head's made of steel or something? And probably we're going to end this uh, note on my most played with figure as a kid. And it's Storm Shadow. And uh, I, it looks like I could just bleach his legs here and bring them back to life. And I might try that because they're pretty yellow. But uh, Storm Shadow was my favorite. Uh, having all of his weapons, I don't. But it's one of those things that I really liked Storm Shadow. Uh, there was just something about him, and I just always played with that figure. So one thing I want to talk about is the 25th anniversary Joes and the modern Joes. I like the look, the aesthetic of the modern stuff better than the vintage. Now there's always going to be like a place in my heart for the vintage. The G G1 of G.I. Joe. And for that, I'm always going to hold on to these, this set that I have. But the thing is, is I really enjoy display options and what you can do with these modern figures. And I probably need some stands or something. But, because, uh, yeah, she does not want to stand. But they look so much more like the show and uh, just so much more dynamic. I like that. And I actually like them in the vintage style card bag. So it's, it's kind of weird. It's like... I don't care as much about vintage collection in Star Wars. I'd rather have the the actual vintage and go after that. But when it comes to Joe, I'd rather have the modern. It's weird. It's just the way I am. Maybe it's just because uh, it's cheap. But something else somebody brought up to me is like all these carded Joes. One day that rubber band's gonna break down. You're gonna have a Joe in pieces on a card back. So uh, that concerns me because I have like 20 carded ones that uh, I kept from my childhood. But that's always a concern. All right, so let me know what you think about this crazy thing I did as a kid, stashing away all my favorite Joes, everyone on these tables from my childhood, including the carded ones, by the way. And this is a lot of fun to go back through it, and it brings back some memories, and brings up a lot more questions. Like, where's all the accessories? That's why I did this in the first place. Anyway, like and subscribe, comment below. Tadirum Hanger, out.